The Markow paper plant in North Jersey reopened on Friday, a year after a fire destroyed most of the facility. Monica Guy was there for the grand reopening as the iconic brand takes a step toward the future. As firefighters were still wetting down what was left of the Markow facility, the company's CEO, Rob Barron, was promising workers that the company would be back. And on Friday, he fulfilled that promise. When everyone wants to do something, you really can do something great. It's been one year and one day since the 11 alarm fire decimated the facility. The frigid conditions left the buildings encased in ice. Amazingly, no one died in the fire. Governor Murphy saw what was left of the site last year, and he stood with Markel's leadership and other elected officials for its reopening. It feels a lot better than it did this day last year, I can tell you that much. And the size and scope of what we lost that day was tremendous. Generations of families have worked at Markel since it opened more than 80 years ago. The fire left nearly 500 people without a job. Very important, very important. This is our second life. How uh, was it when the plant was closed because of the fire? Was it oh, it was devastating. Markel offered financial help to employees and helped set up job fairs for displaced workers. The leadership also worked with the union, keeping members up to date about the progress at the mill. You know, I've been here 15 years now and you don't really want to start over again. And I'm just really grateful and thankful to uh, the management and Markel. I work in this, this building here. This is my home. I am so thrilled. I mean, this is, to have everybody here to, to enjoy this day is just, it's just fantastic. So couldn't be more proud. Now about 100 workers are coming back to the Markow facility to start their work once again, bright and early Monday morning. For Chasing News in Elmwood Park, I'm Monica Guy.